If I were to tell you that the solar storms that rise on our sun are nothing more than sparks, scientists have recently seen such a gigantic storm on another sun that it will blow your mind away. Look, from our sun too, solar storms sometimes come out. We call them coronal mass ejections. When these storms reach our Earth, they create northern lights that is, auroras on it, which really look like a very beautiful sight. But these storms can also become a danger for our geostationary satellites. Just recently, scientists saw such a terrifying storm on another sun besides our own, which turned the solar storms that rise on our sun into nothing but sparks. The scientists were actually using a telescope called LOFAR to search for black holes, when suddenly they received a terrifying signal from a red dwarf star at a distance of 133 light years, whose name is something like this. This was no ordinary storm. It was up to 10,000 times more powerful than even the most powerful storms that rise on our sun. Whew. A kind of destruction that shook this star itself in just one minute. This discovery is also so shocking because scientists believe that the places where there is the highest chance of finding planets like our Earth are all around these red dwarf stars. But these storms are so dangerous that they can blow away and destroy the atmospheres of these planets in one go. And let me tell you that these red dwarf stars are infamous basically because of this, since the solar storms that rise on them have an intensity that is much greater than the storms that rise on our Sun. In such a situation, searching for life or life being able to flourish on the planets present around them becomes very difficult. There is no doubt that there are Earth-like planets present around these red dwarf stars. But because these stars are so active, the question of there being life on those planets, or of us considering it possible, has now become a bit of a topic of debate. The closest neighboring star to our Sun is also a red dwarf star and is quite active. So here I ask you, should we keep our hopes for life on the planets present around red dwarf stars, or should we look towards some other stars? Share your thoughts with me in the comment section below. If you are watching this video on the channel, then do subscribe to the channel. And if you are watching on Facebook and Instagram, then do follow. I will see you in the next video.